everyone and welcome to our Friday story time. Today I have bought a very special book with me. Our book that we are going to read today is called I Spy Island and it is written by our very famous author Sue Hendra and Paul Linnett. I hope you enjoy our story today. In the middle of the ocean, miles from anywhere, was a happy little island who loved to play. I spy with my little eye something beginning with Is it a sausage? asked Glove. Is it a shark? panicked Bottle. I wish it was a sausage, said Banana. It's the sea again, isn't it, says Bird. Mm, it might be, said the island with a little giggle. My turn, said Banana. I spy with my little eye. A funny little thing on your chin. Ooh, said the island. Hmm, it must have just washed up. I wonder what it is. Everyone gathered around to look a little bit closer. Hmm. It's got legs coming out from its head, shrieked Bottle. Hmm. I think it's just upside down, said Bird. Can I eat it, said Banana. I know what it is, cried Glove. I've seen one before. It's a trouser press, a toucan's vest, a funny nest, a... I'm a treasure chest, shouts the box onto its feet and I am very important. Everyone wants to own me because my treasure is priceless. Uh, what's treasure? asked the island. What's treasure? What treasure? spat the treasure chest. Hmm. Throwing its mouth open, bling! It is bling. <gasps> Everyone was very impressed. Look at all the sparkles. We haven't a moment to lose, said Treasure Chest. I am far too important to stay here. I've got places to be. Come on everyone, get to work. I want flags made out of seaweed and signs made out of driftwood. And as they worked, Treasure Chest sat alone guarding its precious treasure. Finally, they were all finished. What's next? said the island. It's so important that someone will come. Hmm, replied Treasure Chest. So we will wait. For how long? said the island. Treasure Chest thought. Hmm, for as long as it takes. Hours passed. Then days passed. Eventually, treasure, treasure chest spoke. Maybe they are not coming back for me after all, he said sadly. We must do something to cheer treasure chest up, thought the island. Hmm, how about a game while we wait? A game? 
Cheshire Chess don't play games. Oh, go on, said Bird. We'll throw the ball and you can catch it. Why? said the treasure chest. You'll see, said Banana. And after a bit of encouragement, treasure chest got the hang of it. And then he couldn't stop. Next, it was races. Then, hide and seek. And by the end of the day, everyone was exhausted. I don't think I have ever had this much fun, said Treasure Chest. And that was just the beginning. All summer, they built giant sandcastle kingdoms. They danced in the moonlight. They jumped into the sea and they laughed and they laughed a lot. Maybe this isn't such a bad place to be, said Treasure Chest. It's always fun. Blue skies and sunshine. I wouldn't be so sure about that, said the island. There's a big storm coming and I think it's going to be a big one. The sky was getting darker and the wind was starting to blow. <gasps> Everyone hang on to something, said the island. Yelp, yelled the friends, struggling to hold on. Soon the storm was raging and it raged for days. Thunder crashed, lightning flashed and the wind howled. It was loud and it was scary. When it was all over, and the island finally opened its eyes. Everything was calm and quiet. Too quiet. Treasure chest, where has everyone gone? We're in here, they shouted, throwing open treasure chests lid. The island was so happy to see its friends. Ah, but hang on, if everyone is in there, where is your treasure? Well said treasure chest, there wasn't room for both. But your treasure is priceless, said the island. No, smiled treasure chest. I've learned that friendship is priceless. And besides, I hid it in your sand. <gasps> Let's dig it up and play with it, said treasure chest. And so they did. Bird dressed up in it. Glove got lost in it. And Bottle juggled with it. Can I? No, Banana, you cannot eat it. Oh, everybody said together. So there they were in the middle of the ocean, miles away from anywhere. A happy little island playing with its friends. I spy with my little eye, said the island. Something beginning with It better not be the sea again, said Bird. And the island giggled. Hang on, said Treasure Chest. What's that I spy on your chin? Had something new washed up? 
everyone gathered around for a closer look. The end. I hope you enjoy today's story, I Spy Island. We look forward to seeing you all soon for another Friday Storytime. Take care. Bye-bye.